Hi, it's Jenny Florence from the A to Z of Emotional Health Online Library. I have just made a little video about changing our attitude to mistakes. And in this video, I'm going to ask you to consider changing your attitude to problems. I think the two go quite nicely, hand in hand. We all know, I think, that a problem aired is a problem no, a problem shared is a problem aired. There you go, I've just made a mistake. I'm going to learn from that. Okay, so um, a problem shared is a problem aired. We all know that, um, you know, when we talk through something, um, it really, really helps. We can find ways forward. Um, you know, we can work out what we need, how we can support others. And yet, problems are often experienced as such a catastrophe and such a crisis. If we change our attitude to problems and we really welcome them, not as something that we're stuck with, but as something that simply through identifying a problem has given us an opportunity. You know, when we identify that something isn't okay, we can do something about it. We can begin, you know, to actually mull over what to do. We can make decisions, we can seek support, we can talk it through with ourselves, we can reflect, we can talk it through with others in a more mutual place of reflection and conversation. A problem really once identified does bring us opportunity. It's like a doorway of possibility. And if we reframe our attitude, it removes any fear. You know, sometimes we see a problem and it just feels like it's monumental. And so we become afraid of it. If we acknowledge that in identifying a problem, we can actually, um, it literally does open a window of opportunity. It becomes a value. It becomes something to be appreciated rather than something to be feared. You know, and I think it's really true. I think in, in sort of therapy work and counselling, we kind of know that when we're, we meet people who are stuck in, say, a repeating pattern or a, a cycle of ever-evolving sort of stuck behaviour, um, you know, we need to identify the root problem. If we identify the root problem, we can help them to navigate their way through that and beyond it. So, as I said, the identification of a problem, the recognition of a problem, is a pretty fabulous thing to take place. Thank you for listening. Do take care. I'm Jenny Florence from the A to Z of Emotional Health Online Library. That's www.azemotionalhealth.com. <laughs>